Okay, today we're going to be taking the most useless key on your keyboard and making it useful again. And of course I'm talking about the caps lock key, but even if you're not a caps lock hater like me, you probably can agree that it doesn't deserve to have that big of, of real estate on your keyboard. It's a very big key in a very central location that would probably be useful for something else. And specifically, I like to remap it to escape, just because, especially if you work in something like Vim, you're using escape a lot, and the escape key is in a really awkward position in the top left of your keyboard. It's not that easy to hit. So I like to remap it to caps lock. And if you like caps lock, you can still have it, okay? I promise. You can swap it with your escape key if you want. You can make it so that whenever you press shift caps lock, you can still use your caps lock. But let's just make the caps lock key more useful by remapping it to something else. You can make it escape, control, you can make it another super key, like your Windows key. And this will probably be a pretty short video because it is very simple. Some people like to use xmodmap to change this, but in my opinion that's overkill. If you don't know what that is, it's just something that allows you to remap every key on your keyboard, which you don't really need to do in this case, we only care about the caps lock specifically. And so what we're going to do is, well, first let's look at all the options that we have. What we're doing is looking at this rules list right here, slash user share x11 xkb rules base dot list, and we're looking for all the caps related options. Let's check it out. Here's what we have. So you can see a few options here. We have control no caps. If we want caps lock to be replaced as a control key, maybe you want that. Maybe you want to swap control and caps lock. You can also do that. You can swap escape and caps lock with this option right here. Or you can do like this, which is what I prefer. It is just making caps lock an additional escape and just removing the caps lock functionality altogether. I don't really use it, let's be honest. But if you still want to use caps lock, you can do something like this. This makes caps lock an additional escape, but shift plus caps lock is the regular caps lock. Or you can just remap it to backspace, super, hyper, uh, menu key. The sky is almost the limit with this one. So I would look through this list right here and decide what you want your caps lock key to do. And only then can we actually set it. Okay, so let's find out what we want to do here. In my specific instance, I want to just make it an additional escape. So let's copy this. And then we're going to use the command set xkb map dash option. And then just paste in the command right here. Hit enter and this should take effect right away. And before you ask, I'm 90% sure that this is already included whenever you install xorg, but just in case you don't have this package for whatever reason, you can install it with uh, sudo pacman s set xkb map, at least on Arch Linux. You may need to install that, but it's probably already installed. Anyway, once you set this, you can hit enter and it should take effect immediately. So you should now be able to use caps lock as an escape key. It seems to be working correctly for me. You can even go into Vim, say hello, hit caps lock. There we go. That is very useful. However, there's just one problem. This will not persist if you restart your computer. If you restart your session, it's no longer going to map this correctly. So we need to put this in our startup script. And an easy way to do it is just to put it in your xinit rc. So we can copy this right here and open up .xinitrc in our home directory. And this should be your startup script where you start up your window manager, maybe your desktop environment. But you can put a line in here, just the exact same command that you already put into your terminal, put an and at the end of that, and every time you start up your computer, this will run. And for most use cases, that is probably enough. But do keep in mind that this does only start up one time whenever you start up your computer or you start your X session. And so if you're the kind of person who actually plugs in a keyboard after the fact, like in my case, I have a Bluetooth keyboard that sometimes I start up after I start up my computer. And the problem is the keyboard on my laptop, the caps lock is mapped to escape, but on my Bluetooth keyboard is not. So what I would like to do is I would like to run this command every time I plug in a keyboard. And the way we can do that is by removing this from here. And we're actually going to do this a different way. Okay, and we're going to open up this file in slash etsy x11 xorg comp d. And it's going to be the 00keyboard.conf file right here. Let's open it with vim. And by default, it's going to look something like this. But we're actually not going to modify this directly. 
as you can see at the top of the file it says use local CTL to update this instead so let's go ahead and do that let's say local CTL and then let's first clear everything out and then this is probably how it's going to look by default and then in order to set the key remapping we're going to run local CTL set x11 key map to US and of course I'm setting it as US because I am running an American keyboard but you would change this to your country code put in a couple of empty quotes here and then finally the command that you want to run caps to escape we can hit enter on that and if we go and check the file again we can see that it's automatically been updated with this and if you're not sure what keyboard layout to use maybe you're not on a standard American keyboard you can run let's see local CTL list x11 key map layouts and this will give you a, a big long list of all the different options that you have but once you do that and you run the locate CTL command that is all you have to do put this every time you restart your computer every time you plug in a keyboard it will automatically set the caps key to the escape key or whatever option you have passed it and you can finally give this giant key on your home row the love it deserves by actually making it useful once again alright that's it have fun remapping your caps lock keys